I'm going to uh, <clears throat> say a few words on Pusta Krishna uh, behalf as he uh, has had a very serious operation recently, two operations. So I'll be reading briefly his uh, little bit of uh, memories. Then I'll finish with my note. Srila Prabhupada had sent Pusta Krishna, then Bhaktapur and Gargamuni to East Pakistan in late January, early February 71. Because Srila Prabhupada had been challenged in public, in a public program by an Indian man. Why are you not sending the Sankirtan party to Pakistan? So Prabhupada countered this man. We will send men immediately. As a new devotee, with Gargamuni, they ventured out to Pakistan, direct. After the ordeal of getting to Dhaka and preaching in other places in East Pakistan, actually East Bengal, the revolution began taking place at that time, and they tried to break away as they tried to break away from West Pakistan. <clears throat> the severity of dysentery with fevers, etc., and having spent about eight weeks in Dhaka, and the war fully underway in East Pakistan. The only other option was to travel out and back to Karachi and on to Bombay. That was the only route. While getting ready to return to Bombay, the new devotee, Paul Pustakrishna, was in a public place wearing a dhoti. And that caught the attention of a whip wielding Pakistani man looking for an excuse to pick on someone and make an example. He was whipped with a, a kind of a stick with a whip on it. Anyway, he didn't retaliate. However, finally, they arrived back in Bombay and took a taxi back downtown into Bombay. They had no idea where was Srila Prabhupada. Then they saw very large banners advertising the Iskron cross Madain programs, although the programs had been finished. They suddenly came across a few devotees and he directed them where Srila Prabhupada resided. So they took a cab to Ashka Ganga building. Pusta Krishna met Srila Prabhupada personally for the first time. And at that first meeting in the quarters for Ashka Ganga, Prabhupada asked him what he liked most about the Hare Krishna movement. And Pusta Krishna replied, or he was Bhakta Paul then, Bhagavad Gita, he said, very good, smiling. And after le leaving the room with Brahmananda and Gargamuni Swami, speaking alone with Srila Prabhupada, they informed Pusta Krishna that Prabhupada said, I will make that boy a sannyasi. A few weeks later, at Lord Chaitanya's appearance day, <clears throat> uh, uh, I composed, or Pusta Krishna composed, a poem which he gave to Shamasunda to give to Srila Prabhupada. Shamasunda, you know, however, could not remember who had written this poem, and it wasn't signed. But Prabhupada was very pleased with the poem, glorifying Lord Chaitanya. Srila Prabhupada's secretary had to go around the temple one by one, and there was dozens of devotees, <clears throat> mostly Western bhaktas. At least he came to Pushta Krishna, and he, at least at last he came to Pushta Krishna, and he asked who had who had written this? And he said, yes, it's me. Prabhupada wants to see you immediately. He was not initiated. So he went into Prabhupada's quarters and were alone together and sat across from him for about eight feet away. He happily explained, you have written this poem of Lord Chaitanya? That is very good. One of the qualities of Srimati Radharani is she's very poetic. He said, Write down these verses on surrender. Srila Prabhupada then spoke six verses of surrender to Krishna. Pusta Krishna keeps these verses still, which sit upon his altar with his deities today. Then Pusta Krishna sat there alone with Srila Prabhupada and shared with him how he came to Krishna. Because Lord Sri Krishna had revealed himself to Paul. Prabhupada said, with his eyebrows raised and animated, yes. You must tell me, you must tell them that God is not dead and write a book. Srila Prabhupada indicated this. So that's Pusta Krishna's little offering about when he was in Bombay for the first time. 
And uh, here is the book. And I'm going to uh, ask Lokanath Maharaj if he can offer it to uh, Srila Prabhupada's quarters in the... Uh, you, you can offer it here too. Okay. So this is the very book that Srila Prabhupada uh, asked for. And here it is. Srila Prabhupada ki!